I have a high functioning middle schooler that is doing great except for a few areas. Homework is a chore. Claims it's busy work and doesn't want to do it. Any tips or strategies to help make it easier on all of us? In class, his teachers say he doesn't turn in work, classwork and homework, and daydreams. I think it's because the teacher goes at a slow pace and he gets bored. He's not doing as well as he should because of missed assignments that he can do in his sleep but forgets to turn in, even when he sees everyone else is handing in their work. Also, how can I help him manage his free time? He just follows me around saying, I'm bored. This is usually because he lost a video game time, otherwise he would play for hours. Why won't he just pick up a book or his instrument and thank you very much? I love, love, love this question because some people are on spring break and summer's coming, so help us, Veronica, what can we do? the first thing I would do is recommend that you start with an extremely achievable goal. So if the kiddo is not turning in 10 homework assignments a week, sit down with him and the teacher and say, okay, we're going to focus on you turning in one homework assignment per week to start, and then two, and then three, and then making sure that he's being rewarded for it. But if he hears one or two homework assignments at the beginning, he's going to be like, oh, that's a piece of cake. I can do that. And so he's going to be way more motivated to follow through with that than if you try to give him all of the homework all at once. Um, and you might have to start off with like a really like powerful reward, like, okay, if you do it, we can go to the movies at the end of the week or we can, you can have your video games, whatever. Uh, but start off with something that's really achievable for him. Um, and ultimately you're also going to want to sit down and sort of teach him like the long-term benefits of doing his homework. But even if you go over that with a middle schooler, they might not really get it until they're a little bit older. Um, so I would start off with really small achievable goals. Um, and that's for the homework. As far as trying to get him to structure his leisure time a little bit, that's another one where I would block off time with you and your child and say, okay, for 30 minutes a day or for 45 minutes a week, whatever is, is practical and achievable for you guys, we're going to do these activities together because he's not going to find them fun and reinforcing until they become part of his day-to-day -day routine and even until he kind of gets some exposure to them and learns to like them. So I would say, okay, let's read an audio book together or let's read a regular book to each other. Um, let's, let's learn to do some cooking skills together. Let's do some exercise together. You know, we can go for a hike or something. Um, but if he's willing to follow you around, model it for him with him first, make it as fun as possible, and then as he learns to enjoy the routine, he won't necessarily need you to participate as much.